Hello and welcome to a video on NumPy, where we would be trying to look at random number generation. Specifically, we are going to generate two arrays, which are coming from a standard normal distribution. Let's uh, be a little more specific. And uh, we begin with importing our library which is NumPy as NP. And following that, we can create two arrays. Array one is equal to NumPy.random dot rand n. And uh, say we generate about 50 values. And we do the same for array two, which is also generating 50 values from a standard normal distribution. Since the process is random, we can expect that the values that we obtain in array one and array two would be entirely different. Okay, we actually call this uh, NP already, so we can just use NP, right? Uh, a quick look at these arrays would tell us here's minus 0 0.84, 0 0.811, and uh, array two is having values which are quite different. All right, so our idea of checking for the uh, similarity between these two or the correlation would be to use or to obtain the correlation coefficient, core coef of, or the correlation between array one and uh, array two. Let's run this. So what we are getting here is, your rows are basically array one and array two, and your columns are also array one and array two. So one explains your diagonal values as one are basically having the, the array being measured up against itself, which is why you have a perfect correlation. So between array one and array two, we can take any one of these values. We're looking at minus 0 0.01, almost zero. So there's a negligible relationship or almost uh, no correlation whatsoever between the two arrays. We can uh, try increasing the number of values. We had minus 0 0.01 so far with 50 values. Now, if we measure it once again, it's a slight increase. You could say there is a little more scope when you are uh, increasing the number, okay, that you will find some measures that are, some random numbers that are similar. Basically from the standard normal distribution, you're talking about values ranging from minus three to plus three. All right. Let us now try and assign array one to the sorted version of array one which is to say we would have the values in, our, in the ascending order for both array one and array two, we sort them both. And now go ahead and measure the coefficient of correlation. Did we say core coef, All right? For uh, array one and array two, we have reassigned them. Let's take a look. Now you're seeing a value that is much, much closer. Okay, because you're looking at values in increasing order. So there is a, a lot more chance of having closer values when you're measuring up one against each element of array one against each element or each number within array two. Right, so it's almost close to one now. Might be slightly less if we're talking about lesser random numbers. 
but here we went for about 250. So this is how we measure the correlation coefficient.